How are you? Before we start playing, I want to say thank you for coming. Uh, and then we start playing. <laughs> By the way, uh, does anybody here actually have a pager? I don't think so. We can take that off the list now. <laughs> Things to turn off. Because if you still got a pager, you still got some other situations that you've got to go resolve now anyway. So. I haven't played in a while.
thank you very much. The best song I ever wrote is a song called Clarity. In, in terms of, huh. in, best in terms of people getting an idea of how I exist and how I live. And I really think, for me, my driving force is anxiety. Huh. You know, I think a lot of people's driving force is anxiety. You know, a lot of people in my generation are just trying to stay right. You know, just stay on the side where everything feels like it's going to be okay. And drifting into the other side is a terrible, terrible, terrible feeling, you know? And for me, I'm at my best. I don't need stuff or things. Those are things that occupy you, stuff, you know? Um, as soon as you fall into that other category of going like, none of this makes sense, well, who cares about tomorrow? Because that, that's just a lead into tomorrow, the next tomorrow, and that doesn't really make any sense either. And then all the stuff you own just doesn't, it kind of gives you the middle finger, like, well, what are we to you right now? And you're nothing. All you're trying to do is get back to that place where you can feel right again. And I, f I feel like from the faces that I see when I, when I play and look out in the crowd, like that is, that is our generation's uh, big battle. It's just, you know, there's so much to take your brain this direction and that direction. It's, it's the idea of multitasking. I think it's gone so far now that, you know, I just, I, I, I play to that a lot in my writing. And there's, it, all over both records there are uh, allusions to anxiety and just wanting to get to that place of comfort, you know, of, of feeling like everything's all right. Thank you. All right. There's nothing 
I feel good, I like it. I will tell you this, it is an unbelievably strange experience to be in between a second record and a third record because you only really are dreaming about your first record. You're not a kid, I don't know any kid who goes, but record four. So I'm only thinking about my first one until I get to my second one. And the third one, and sometimes you feel like you're in the middle of the water because when you first take off, you see the harbor. Oh, that's where I was, and this is where I, and it gets smaller and smaller. And then there's just water, and you go, okay, I guess I gotta make a life out here. And it's a struggle, you know, you just learn, it's a learning curve, you figure it out every day, but what I'm trying to say is that coming back to Chicago and playing for you guys, the energy is exactly the same as the first time I ever played here. That's right. It's a really incredible way for me to check back in on just how to do this thing, so thank you so much. It's a very constant kind of love for what I do, so thank you. You ready to build a little groove here?
Thank you. All right, all right. This is a song that uh, nobody knows this story. I figure I'll tell it to you, because you make me feel so comfortable. Heart rate, 75 BPM. Um, I was living in Atlanta, and my first series of shows, if you can call them shows, 
I think if it's a performance that takes place next to where coffee is served, you can't actually technically call it a show. There's an exhibition, a musical exhibition, taking place next to a giant glass of muffins. <laughs> so borders, you, I, I, borders might not be a sponsor, but it's a, it's a major bookstore, Alex. I work for a major bookstore, <laughs> like a game show. And anyway, I'm assuming this isn't going to make it to tape anyway, so we're just going to take our time and chat. So. I left my guitar at work, and I had to go to this music, the Borders to play some music, and I was like two exits down the road, and I realized that I didn't have my guitar. And there's traffic the other way, just totally blocked up. And I was laughing at him at first, and then I realized <laughs> all I wanted to do was get back the other direction, so I went actually to the uh, very fabulous Sean Mullins' house. I called him up, hey, Sean, it's John. Uh, we borrow a guitar. So he lent me one of his guitars. And, and I raced, I was about an hour late, and I showed up at the bookstore, and I, I think they paid me like a $50, $50 cash or a $70 gift certificate. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, how, many, how many Shel Silverstein books is that gonna get me? Oh, uh, yeah, cash. Anyway, I started writing this song, and I had this piece that I'd come up with only a couple days before, and it was this thing, and I just loved it, and it was... <laughs> So I started playing, and I liked it, you know, I liked it. Oh, it's just a piece, don't clap, it's just a piece. It's an, it's an, it's an audio aid for a minute. And so, uh, thank you. Wow, so I started playing this song, and I went, this is actually how it went, I'm sitting here at Borders, and I'm going, it was something like, like a, I'm driving up 285, and there's so much traffic, uh, that's the reason I was late, or something like that, and I actually, so that I was driving up 285 then, that was true. So uh, that's where the whole song comes from, and no one has ever, of all the many interviews I've done, that, was, that one's freshly made for you. <laughs> so there's, there's the song that turned out to be. The chorus was a leftover part that I'd written when I was still in Berkeley, and the rest of that song sucked, so I did a little swap job, and, and there's about an 85 percenter here, right here. Driving up 85 in the kind of morning that lasts all afternoon. I'm just stuck inside the gloom, yeah. Four more exits to my apartment, but I am tempted to keep the car in the right. And leave this sh behind Cause I wonder sometimes About the outcome of a silver Toolless life And I live in it
Just a stranger, but that's the danger in going my own way. I come to pass some more day after day after day. Still everything that happens for a reason and no reason not to ask myself if I'm living. Thank you. My, my preset is to be small. I think I will always think of myself as the one that a favor is done for, not the one that I'm doing a favor for. Even at this point in my career, I always think of it like, oh, they'll, they'll have me. You know, I really do think of it like, oh, you'll have me, which is nice. I, but, um, you know, I, at some point I got to learn how to go like, oh, no, no, I'm providing this thing. Cause I, but I still always see myself as very small. And that's actually everything that, that Bigger Than My Body is about, which is just like going into a second record and still feeling small, still um, making myself the smallest person in a room. And I think a lot of people, but a lot of people do that. And the ones who win are the ones who think of themselves as the biggest person in the room. And I don't mean that in a way that's combative. I just mean, you know, you go to parties and you stand on the side and just kind of like, look at her. Look at him having a good time. <laughs> yeah, have your good time with your drinks. You know, and it's like, well, you have a good time too. This guy doesn't rule you. And that's, the music for me has been great that way. It's allowed me to, you know, I live an entirely different out, outer life because of the inner life that I have through music. song about power and how you got to create it to have it because if you don't make it for yourself people try to take yours or make you feel like you had none until you wake up one day and you go why are you telling me what the hell to do and all of a sudden it goes like this you know what I'm saying you might not but I got a song about it that might clear things up Oh, 
the caravan For sounds of night on your own inside the horizon line Try to put something true Yes, I'm crowned I got my wings clipped I'm surrounded by all this pavement Guess I circle while I'm And I'm never quite the truth Yes, I'm crowned I got my wings cramped I'm surrounded by all this pain Guess I circle while I'm waiting So my feelings to try so much. All right. Yeah. 
to know You got this room for two One thing I've left to do Discover me, discover a new Oh, yeah. One night to every inch Your skin like porcelain One pair of candy lips And your bubblegum tongue you want to love So many deep sick Check out your big plans This is bound to be a while Your body is a wonderland Your body Shape you take when crawling towards the pillowcase. You tell me where to go and though I might leave to find it, I'll never let your head hit the bed without my hand behind it. You want love? So many deep say and take all your big plans. Oh. So good it hurts The criteria for these records, these songs on the record were, how good a song can I write? Mm -hmm. And then it became, well, OK, if that's a good song, I can always give that to somebody else. I'm trying to write <laughs> this one cross section of music, which is the, the confluence of that grit of blues, that thing that you love about guitar players. But the thing that you love about guitar players ends at a certain point, because most of these most of these things you get from a rock band, they don't give you hooks. So you go to acoustic guys. You go to like, I think that Keen record is amazing. I think Tider is amazing. I think the Shins are amazing. I think all those things you go to because of the melodic side. And then you go to Led Zeppelin. Or I shouldn't say Led Zeppelin because they've got really, really cool songs as well. But just the stuff that goes down it, all the stuff where you would be like, you know, bending stuff. Like the blues, I should yeah. say, you know. The blues is leaving out some really good white keys, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and so what I'm trying to do is find that pulse of blues music and bring it in with the, uh, the, 
the expression, really, of pop music. Because blues is, you've done me wrong, baby. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's not very self-aware. I and mean, it is in a way, but it doesn't really address the problem. Blues is chest up, even when it's like crying. Just that, those phrases are very, you know, woman, 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 baby, baby. And it's always like cool, you're always cool, you know, I'm cool. And pop music can always be like a punch in the gut, and you can be like, I'm really messed up right now. And so I like, so what I'm doing now as a writer is trying to bring those two things together. And I've done it, I just didn't, I haven't done it enough. Like I've done it with Come Back to Bed, I've done it with City Love. Every one record, each record gets that one tune, but for now it's like, uh uh, it's got to be. The goal now is to take blues and pop. The goal is to never have to do a blues show again, to have people get what, what they get and have me get what I get from a, from a rock, from just a normal John Mayer show. You know, sometimes not every single is going to be a hit song, and I know it when I put that song out, but there's just this sense of what has to be, you know? And sometimes what has to be will venture off into the, you know, the radio, and it'll be a hit on the radio, and. A, God willing, and then other times what has to be is more just between a guy on stage and a guitar and a crowd full of people. And that's what this song is. I gotta follow my own agenda, you know? All these other companies merging. I'm not merging with anybody. I gotta watch my own name, you know? There's no slash after my name. You know? That'd be amazing, though, if you could make a shitload of money just by putting a slash. How are you? John Mayer slash Viacom, how you doing? All right, check it out. Yeah. That's home.
Everybody gather.